What up guys, welcome to another uh, little update on my project build, here's my kitty. Um, you can see behind me here, These. this is the part list for the project, oh, I can't zoom? Uh, well, behind me is the part list uh, of part, sorry, the list of parts I needed to finish my project, or at least get it very close to finished. Uh, it's not every single part, I'm sure they're missing little things here or there, but that's for, that's most, probably 90% of the parts I needed. Uh, I managed to sell off a few items of mine to help fund the build. Uh, I sold a wiring harness, a GTS wiring harness, and a few other things just to try to help fund the build, because as you may or may not know, I'm off work, sick right now. Um, well, it's, it's really complicated, and you're welcome to check out my other videos if if you're curious but basically uh yeah that's the state of things uh but the whole point of this video is not that the whole point of this video is that i got the parts finally so in this video we're going to open this ginormous box on my floor and show you everything that has arrived so stick around okay guys so uh i filmed the whole unboxing thing but uh when i went to go edit the video all you could hear is lots of horrible plastic and cardboard noises so what i've done is i've just unpacked everything um and we can just do it like a show and tell because the whole unboxing idea did not work so we've got new calipers for the front we got the you know both sides and we've got uh break our brake master cylinder brand new we've got um what are these guys again um uh, the strut bar links, I forget what they're called. That might be what they're called, actually. Uh, these rotors are given to me by a friend. So we've got uh, machined rotors for the rears because uh, we're doing a conversion, so we did not have rear rotors before. We have rear brake calipers. Uh, these ones are used, but uh, pretty good shape still. This is another sway bar link. That's what they're called, sway links. Now these are the front shocks. These are the SW20 uh, AGX adjustable front shocks. Um, what else is there to say? You, in order to run these, you need, uh, what do you call it? A, a tube spacer. Okay, so the tube spacer's on its way. Uh, and then here we've got uh, Camaro shocks. So these are gonna be in the rears. Uh, 82 Camaro shocks, and these are Pretty damn good. I run them on my coupe, which is uh, a track car, and they do a great job. So there's, they're they're cheap and better in some better in some ways at least than the uh, OEM stuff, and easier to find, right? Because USA loves their Camaros. So I think that's everything for parts. Um, um, there's other parts up here, but. They're mostly like strut bars and that type of stuff. Those are all like the parts necessary to get the car rolling. Uh, oh wait, and brake pads here. But uh, since we're filming, I might as well show you the rust repair I've been doing. There was a hole here, so I put an all new metal, uh, bondoed it, uh, sanded, and now it's primed, so it looks pretty legit. On the other side of the car, hopefully my phone doesn't run out of power. Oh no, it's too dark over here. One moment. Okay, so on this side of the car, uh, the entire arch was gone. Uh, if you saw my other video, I show exactly how bad it was. In this video, you can see it's completely done. I welded in uh, a new arch that I took off of, uh, what do you call it? The front right fender, I weld that in, and then I just used some uh, body fill to blend it right so that it looks good. It's not perfect. If you get up close, you can still see it's not perfect, but it is more than good enough for me considering I just at this point I want this car to just be enjoyed. It's been like four years in the making, so at this point I just want to enjoy the car. So that is about all there is to see. 